It's finally here. My framework. This arrived a couple weeks ago. I got that separate. Power brick. Other stuff. And the lappy. International two day shipping. The power brick is way smaller than I expected. It's light, but has like a solid feel to it. Everything arrived in order. By breaking the seal, I am accepting their terms and conditions. Seals are intact. This is one terabyte. Wow. When you only upgrade computers once a decade, the uh, changes become quite noticeable. I really like how obvious they made it, which side faces in and then which side faces out. Time required, 10 to 20 minutes. Framework 20 minute timer. I love how obvious they make everything in here. It's incredible. Well, it looks like it's taking roughly a minute to transfer it from the old computer. The file is roughly a gigabyte. How long to copy it onto the new computer? Whoa. All right, Windows is installed. So let's see what installing the framework driver pack is like. Yes. Oh, okay. I guess I don't have to click anything. It's just taking care of all of it on its own. Oh, that's exciting. So now I'm going to transfer all of the footage from this camera onto my old computer and this one just to see the difference in transfer speed. So about 26 gigs. I've heard the one terabyte expansion card can have some overheating issues, so I'm going to test that with these files. This is the file transfer speeds I was dealing with on my old system. I have constructed this lovely bar graph to show the difference in file transfer speeds. There is a definite noticeable improvement between the old computer and the framework. The difference between internal and external I don't think is going to be as noticeable. On the desktop computer, 120 frame per second 1080p video doesn't exactly play back the most smoothly. 120 frames a second footage plays back smoothly and perfectly on this. On the desktop, playback isn't perfectly smooth. 
I am really impressed with the uh, playback performance on the framework. So the fan just kicked on about 20 seconds after hitting render. So despite video playing back far more smoothly on the framework laptop, the desktop still has the better render time of about 120 minutes compared to 155 minutes. However, at 65 watts versus 600 watts, the framework cost me two cents worth of electricity to render, while the desktop cost me 16 cents to render. So I'd been looking for a laptop for a while, something small, like a 13-incher that was pretty powerful so I could transfer files really quickly when I'm on the go, uh, drop files on a timeline, do a quick edit, record some audio before I forget something, and then get out of there. And um, this exceeds all those expectations.